we're also doing here, like uh, personally as a leader and also with the group the Climate Reality Project is we bring uh, education, especially to the marginalized. And when we do it, uh, we really customize our presentation so that they do understand that, you know, the weather is in its extremes, not because, you know, there's just a change in this era and so on and so forth, but we want them to realize that there's a connection between, you know, human activities and also what's happening in, you know, uh, in relation to climate change. There could be beliefs that block them, sometimes as intergenerational. So with the, I would say the baby boomer age, our generation or the older, they'd be like, um, I, I feel that they've resigned everything to fate or destiny. And of course, uh, being on the younger generation side, we'll be like, but of course, we want you to be able to work with us because I know sometimes you think, oh, maybe it's the end of the line for me. I have nothing to look forward to in a decade or so because I'm too old. But if you make them realize, you know, how that they have a family, they have a kin that would still be living and that kind of... Um, you know, uh, touches on their empathetic side, then they realize, okay, you know, I don't think it should be just about me. So you're trying to imagine, you know, different kinds or alternate futures. And at the same time, think about if it's a preferred future, thinking about how are we going to get there? What are those uh, things that are shackling us? Uh, may it be in the past or present? Or are we even looking at use futures? So use futures is when you feel like you're, um, for example, for us, we're looking to develop our country, looking like a European country, for example, but that's not within our context. And that may not be what our people would like. So when you have more conversations with Filipinos, it turns out that no, they don't want to look like another, you know, Germany or Paris, et cetera, or uh, US, but they, want to be indigenously Filipino, but technologically um, adept and secure, but more green spaces actually. Sometimes you feel like people would say, oh, futures about robots and AI and so on. But uh, right now, you, you, it's, it's refreshing to see that they say future is about green spaces and harmony and um, startup enterprises which work for the climate and stuff like that. So the spiritual uh, spiritual practice that I do, the understanding that we are both spiritual and material. And if we operate towards, um, towards materialism and empiricism and just highlighting those things and talking about money and which is very material, then we lose sight of the, the spiritual part. And I think being in the group to the spirit questers, that's what made me uh, mature in a way that I'm able to understand perspectives, like how are how is their lived reality? And you have, you know, if there's more understanding of people's perspectives, lenses, and lived realities, you become creative and imaginative to look towards solutions 